Hi guys, I've got two machines here. I've got the Brother Overlocker 1034D on the right there, which has been around a few years. And on the left, I have the Lock 34 3D, which is the new version of the 1034D. So I've got, I've got both. Um, and I'm going to show you the differences between the two machines. Now, quite clearly, aesthetically, we're going to work that way. First, you can see that the new design is a bit rounder, a bit more modern, a bit sleeker, and all um, the colours of the wheels are the same. The retention and colour coded on the old um, for ease. So. That is a preference. You have to decide if you don't use your overlocker enough, would you prefer to use something that's colour coded that helps you each time you go back to the machine or do you use yours enough and um, are quite able of, to remember what you need to do. But you can see if you look closely that you do still have colours on the dials anyway. Now staying with the dials, I'll show you something else. At the top of the 1034D, can you see there? You have these tension release buttons. Now, when you put your thread in, I'll see if I can do a close up for you. When you press this button, you might, can you see inside there, you can see the discs, which are about the size of a 10p piece or maybe a dollar coin. And, um, there's two of them sitting together. You release those, um, like on a sewing machine, by having the presser lever up, and that releases the tension disc so you can thread your machine and actually put the thread between the two tension discs. If you don't, you don't achieve a great tension, so that's just a tip for you, just to make sure the presser foot is always up. On here, on the old model, you when you're threading up your machine, you can pull that to the side and pull your tension through, your thread through. On the new version, we don't have that. So I'm assuming that Brother have decided that it's it's something that will uh, uh, it's easy enough for you to do and be careful with. But when I lift that up, I don't know if you can see in there, just like on a regular sewing machine, you do get a release of the tension discs. So, they're the two benefits, uh, differences there. Also here at the top, your threads come through holes, whereas it's easy to guide through under the clips here. Okay, um, what else is obvious? You've got your colour coding system on the new machine for threads. And on the old machine, it's all in black and actually I've got to be honest the first time I did follow them through it was a little bit confusing and I'm an experienced overlocker user um, but it did take me a little bit longer to uh, follow it through on that model okay the next aesthetic that I noticed was the dials okay so let me show you the dials here on the old machine now if I'm sat in front of the machine that's what I see. So where's your differential feed? Where's your stitch, uh, where, uh, stitch length? Where's your um, hand wheel? So you can see the hand wheels there. You can see the presser foot lever is there. But on the side of the machine, so I'm craning my head now, that's where my um, other dials are. So I've got my knife release, I've got my stitch length, my differential feed, um, all hiding there at the back, and right, stitch width. On this machine, the new model, they're all on the side and they protrude, so they're not hidden flush. So yes, it does look nice that it's flush and you can put something next to the machine, but you having to have the inconvenience of having to crane your head. Whereas on here, You've got all your uh, dials on the side and handily you've got your knife uh, edge um, width there 
near where you actually need it, which is handy. And the other thing about the dials is on the new model, which I found Brother do, is that they have, can you see this line here? On the hand wheels, I think I should be turning it that way. On the hand wheels, they have these grooves and they line up with the marking there. And that's when you know your needle's at its highest position. So it's a new thing that Brother has started doing on their new, new machines. On here, you'll not find it there. And the needle's up at the highest position. So it's something you just need to be aware of. Now, let's switch the machines on. So let's go back. Sit you back down there. And let's switch the machines off. And let me let you see what, what we see. So in the new model, we've got a daylight lamp. And on the other model, we have the old tungsten lamp. So you can see on the new model, there's not much light spread out. And on the old model, there is. So you've got bigger space, more light. Different sorts of light on the new one. Now there's pros and cons to this. With the old lamp on here, you will find that the lamp gets hot. So you've got the space going really hot. Not really hot, but gets warm. And the life of the bulbs isn't long. Okay, so if you're environmentally thoughtful, considerate, you will find that you would probably prefer to use a daylight lamp, which is cooler, doesn't warm up at all. The life is longer. Um, I doubt if you need to ever change that. Um, 20 odd years I've had my old overlocker, I've only changed the bulb a couple of times, and that was because I think we moved house and it must have got knocked in the move. Um, and so that's your light. So again, that's something you have to consider. Is that something um, important to you? I'm gonna put the press foot down on that one. Now, um, the next thing you'll notice when you open the machine. Now, I'm going to just say about the threads at the back, they're my threads. You don't get threads with your machines, either of them. You do get some thread, so it's threaded up a little bit, and then all four are tied at the back. On my machines, when I unboxed both of them, threads had already pulled through. So it's a little bit inconvenient. So I think maybe Brother could offer a, a mini comb next time on the machines. I don't know. Um, I'll be willing to pay an extra two or three pound for that benefit. Um, definitely. Okay, so next thing is the accessories. Let's have a look at the accessories now. With the 1034D, you get a manual. It's a lot thicker than the new manual. The old manual has the instructions in different languages, whereas a new operation manual doesn't. It just has it in the language local to you. So in my case, English, which is handy. So it's a small, lightweight manual and you get to your um, whatever topic you're looking for straight away. You've got D DVDs with both. The old one, which is very, well, I'd say can definitely 90s, but it's good. The instructions are good. And actually, there's a menu on that instruct on those instructions, whereas you've got to watch all the way through with the new DVD, which is a little bit oh, difficult. Well, not difficult, but you know, you've got to watch it all the way through to find the bit you want. Um, next thing, it doesn't look like you've got as much with the new version and the old, but you do. With the new version, you still get your tweezers, Allen key, spare needles and brush, as well as the nets and the spool caps. They're just conveniently stored away inside the compartment there, which is really great. So you've got your tweezers, your new modern version of Allen key. Let me show you the old Allen key there. Your needles now. I broke some needles trying to sew sequins, but that's a different video. So that's why I've got some missing and your brush. But really, that area is there for your um, finger, roll hem finger, which again I'll explain in a different video, not now. Um, okay. So accessories, you get more or less the same, other than the 1034D. Sorry, messing about with these camera you get your three extra feet now to me if in the UK currently 
um, I'm paying 189 for the 1034D and I'm paying 159 for the M343D. So for the benefit of £30, what do you get? For £30 you get three feet. Um, I think it's worth it. That's a gathering foot, making skirts, curtains, all sorts of frills which are in at the moment, frills on everything, everyone's wearing frills and tops. Um, you've got your blind hem, that's never going to go out of fashion, is it? Trousers and skirts always need uh, adjusting, uh, dresses and need adjusting, don't they, and overcasting. And then your piping. Again, piping on clothes, on cushions, give it an extra quality. Um, £30, yes. You have to think, are you going to use them? And if you are, then it's worth that £30 and you do get instructions on how to use them. Um, so that's what you get out of box. So going back, oh, what else is there? You have your free arm. Now, I don't understand this with other brands. You don't get a free arm, whereas you do with this, um, which is great. Because you need you need your free arm for small cuffs and baby clothes. The only problem is it's tricky to pull off. Oh, did you hear that? The suckers at the bottom. Um, you might have to come back another time because I don't think I'm going to get this off. There we go. Not easy to pull off. I didn't want to damage the machine. And let's pull this one off. There we go. So the free arm's a lot smaller than the new one, which is great. Um, so you've got a smaller space there, and on the new one, you've still got a big space. So for small projects, if you're working on children's clothes, the 1034D is better than the new 34D. But, you know, it's... Uh, something you can work around anyway you can always work around these things being uh, ingenious it is a bit tricky to put this one on okay so that's the other thing so another thing I like about these brother overlockers is they have a fast system F-A-S-T um, threading system if I open this up and show you now in the old version and I was quite pleased when I discovered this. If you use an overlocker, you might find that hidden, use the tweezers to point, hidden inside there is your looper thread. Now on the machine, it's very difficult to get to it on an overlocker, but brother have made it easy. What you do is it shows you here, you just pull that guide out and then you put you thread round there and tuck it back in and it will thread it up for you. Okay, so that loop is done. Dead easy. I was so impressed. And on the new version, they've made it even easier, if that's possible. And what they've done is you've got a clip over here and they've made it more noticeable. So that's hidden away on the old one. Um, so you've got to know what you're looking for here. It's there. And they've actually explained it better in the diagram. So it comes out... Let's make sure I've got that up at the top. What happens is I'm not pressing it hard enough. It must be feeble today. That's sticking out now, and I can just get to it and feed the thread through. And I can unlock it there. Let's see if we can do that again. I think so. It's just because of the video, I'm doing it wrong. Um, let's get the photo zoom out again. And that's it really. So it's a, sh it's a long video showing you the differences. I'm sorry, 15 minutes is quite a long video. Um, showing you the differences between the two machines. You get your differential feed, that's important so that you can do knits. You get your uh, stitch width, stitch length. You've got your uh, knife rolled hem finger on both it's brilliant and I can show you actually if I don't know if people know about this but here on the knife 
I love this. It's very easy spring action. Again, on another model, I find it so difficult to put the knife away on a different branded machine. Whereas here, that was amazingly easy because as I'm getting older, I'm finding my fingers are struggling with all sorts of things. And the other thing is the rolled finger, um, rolled hem finger actually does sit over here and not where I was showing you earlier. So it tucks away here so when you're not using it. Okay, and that's your machine.